we are very honored that uh, we have been the first group to have a meeting here, uh, probably the first meeting organized in this city that will probably have a lot of meetings in the years to come. So we'll always be the first. So thank you for this great opportunity. Well, this, uh, this is an um, uh, enormously interesting location in Saudi Arabia, so the, it had a major impact on the discussion which we had on the Middle East and, uh, and energy. So uh, this was more of a, an exotic location than the usual European loc locales. Gathering of formal leaders have focused on the big issues of the world. The climate change was one, but more at the moment, the economic turmoil the meltdown of the financial system, what can be done about that? And then the overarching issue, I think, going forward is going to be producing food for a world of nine billion people. Obviously, this is an extraordinary challenge which every country has to play a role. The members of the council very much welcomed the new multilateral approach of President Obama, and the members then looked at a variety of areas such as the Middle East, energy conservation, renewables and world problems, uh, nuclear disarmament, where that cooperative approach could prove uh, great benefits for the world. The event was extremely interesting and I want to hope that in a small way it can contribute towards a safer world. I think the fact that the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia is hosting the IAC um, shows and showcases the stature of Saudi Arabia today and the Kingdom um, as a um, an economic and political uh, power. Uh, we, the Kingdom has already participated in the G20 uh, f the two times um, since the establishment of the group uh, and this is just further uh, proof of that. Oh, the venue is quite superb. You're, you're poised here or perched here on the edge of the Red Sea so historically it's a magnificent part of the world. To be. But the, the striking thing is the, the vision to build the city of upwards of two million people in less than 20 years. That is an extraordinary vision, an extraordinary goal. Well, first of all, let me express my admiration for uh, not what, what we have seen, but for what we expect that will happen in the King Abdullah Economic City. It is obviously uh, uh, something of which needed imagination and determination. And uh, I want to wish to everybody that it will succeed because its success will contribute greatly to the economic development of our world. As you can see, the city is being built. But I can tell you from our experience in hosting this round of IAC talks, we have the willingness and ability to host such events in the future. Services we've received, the courtesies extended to us, I mean, it's all gone extraordinarily well. And uh, we've enjoyed it. I'm sure all those here at the council meeting have enjoyed it. It's been different, of course. We're in the middle of a oh, quarter-built city. Uh, Come back, back, it will be changed, changed, changed. But the location, of course, will endure, and this is a fabulous location. That Saudi Arabia, a great power, a great kingdom with history and so on, but which was close to itself for so many years, it's opening up, and it's, it wants to contribute, not only by supplying energy, so, uh, petroleum and uh, money through the reserves, but also in many other ways to making this a better world. I think uh, this event helped us at uh, King Abdullah Economic City to uh, set the benchmark and uh, be ready for further events and on a such scale. When you think about this Interaction Council event, it is basically all about hosting a global event in this place, which many people thought it might be a big challenge, and I think we proved to be even uh, delivering beyond the expectations on that. I think it's been very successful. I think it was almost like a stress test for us to bring together the collaboration of various departments, of various people, to bring this event to life and to make it a reality. It was a challenge, I can't say it was easy. A lot of people were pushed to the limit in getting things done. But at the end of the day, I think we prevailed and we successfully accomplished it. Whenever we finish a, a communique, of course, we send it to uh, world leaders. Much of the discussion uh, here was about uh, President Obama because he is new and it's been a, a wonderful launch. So the uh, communique went to the President of the United States.